It's not often I use this uh, Cuisinart Grill Sensor, I think it's called. It's an electric grill um, griddle on the reverse side and shish kebab, rotor shish kebab option. So I have some of these uh, young, sh um, young asparagus. They were starting to turn bad, that's why I decided to cut off most of the uh, asparagus um, stalks. Got some crushed red pepper, uh, ch chili powder, and um, garlic salt. Grown them up for a nice texture. That's my vegetable for tonight's dinner. Ah, that's smelling heavenly and looking delicious. See the grill marks? Yes, electric grills can produce this grill mark. And that's ready to be eaten. So I bought this Thomas Farms grass fed beef boneless New York strip steak for $8 for two of these. A pack of two from a grocery outlet. Let's see how this turns out. You know, one thing I noticed right off the bat is that the meat is not like red, kind of like a you know bright red, like some groceries might sell it. Seems colored and unnatural. So this is grass fed, guys. Let's see how this uh, cooks. So I cut it into strips now. It's easy to cook and I want it medium rare, so pretty soon we're going to turn off the power. Ooh we this is just for presentation purposes guys. Trust me, I'm going to eat more than this. And don't forget my favorite, hot sauce. It's got sweet, spicy rum in there. Signature Select. Man, it's better than A1. Can't stress this high enough guys. It's awesome. Yeah. Let's pour that good amount in there. That's going to be my delicious home cooked Friday night dinner. Cooking is easy. Wow, this is my dinner New York strip steak, barbecue, char siu, fried rice, and grilled asparagus. Yummy, yummy, yummy. What am I cooking up today? Wow, look at this. This is another plant based diet. Check it out, we have some nice broccoli cut up to perfection, baby carrot and kale, there's some olive oil, crushed red pepper, and garlic salt. Then we slow cook this for about 40 minutes. And it's gonna be delicious and healthy. Okay, it's been like 40 minutes. Let's see how it turned out. Ooh, we oh it smells so good. That's a plant-based diet life. Let's see the baby carrots. Ah, oh, yeah, I just like crunch it. That adds a sweetness to here. Don't worry, guys. I'm eating this stuff. And yeah, let's take a look at the broccoli. Well, the broccoli tends to, you know, cook easier, so it's a little bit soft. That's the danger with mixing a different kind of vegetable that it's not the same type. Takes the same amount of time to cook, but regardless, it's still good. Ooh, that's hot. Right, let's get one of these kale, man. Kale is good stuff. Oh man, so good. Delicious. Today I'm gonna see how this Safeway seasoned pork country style ribs turns out. Looks like it's already been seasoned. It says Grill Master Barbecue Seasoning. Do you see all those? Wow. Okay, so I don't have to add any more spices, that's for sure. And this cost me like almost $12. See how this turns out. I think it's boneless too. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bake this at 425 degrees for 45 minutes. And then I'm then going to uh, boil it for that crispy texture. Oops. That's fine. No need to cover all up. Pop this in the oven. Okay, okay. Let's check on the ribs. Okay. Now it's time to broil it. I'm actually gonna broil the ones I'm gonna eat because I don't want to overcook every single one until it's ready to be eaten with future dinners. Okay, my steamed rice is ready. Yes, that's the texture I'm looking for. I'm going to be making some fried rice today. 
So ideally, I want to use leftover fried rice or leftover rice overnight, but unfortunately, I am hungry right now, so I need to cook it right now. So I'll be also using these as vegetables. Got some of these frozen uh, cut green beans, some of this corn. First time cooking fried rice with corn, we'll see how this turns out. Some corn. Ooh, the garlic is the best thing to smell good right here. Now I'm going to add the rice, chili powder, garlic salt, crushed red pepper. And of course, let's not forget the soy sauce. Light the soy sauce, low on the sodium. Let's try that real good. And that's done. It's so deli It is looking mighty fine, guys. Let's give it a taste. It's smelling heavenly. Mmm. Delicious. So here's how my broiled pork ribs turned out. Don't forget, the spicy Grill Master seasoning. And here's the rest with fried rice with green beans and corn. And if you look at the texture that I'm talking about, see the difference? This is a little bit boring because I like the texture to be as a little bit crispy on the outside, yet a little bit soft on the inside. And it's a perfect balance right there. What a delicious Sunday afternoon lunch. This particular cute fish that you see right here, I got from 99 Ranch Market. It's called a Yellow Fin Sunbeam. And it's a product of Taiwan. Got it seasoned. Let's go ahead and bake this and see how it turns out. Look at that sexy fish. Look at that sexy yellow fin. Wow. Got the vegetable fried rice going from earlier that I cooked. And that's the vegetable mix, kale, broccoli, and baby red carrots from um, yesterday. And this is a well-balanced diet, guys. I love seafood. Fish is definitely healthy. Possibly healthier than, you know, like uh, pork or beef or chicken. Because, you know, that's like hormone-based growth. They feed them corn-based diets. That's not good. And I have some olives right here. Olives go perfect, guys. This is fresh finds. Manzanilla olives it goes perfect with fish because it kind of masks that fishy flavor. You got that little tanginess in there, kind of like pickles. Wow. I'm going to get into this signing off. Hold on a second. Let me show you guys how that fish turned out. Look at this. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, so good. Okay, it's time to cut my Chinese celery. It's been growing for over three months since July. Real nice right here. Let's go ahead and cut this and cook it tonight. <laughs> Nothing like cutting your own vegetables that you grew <laughs> and with a brand new knife too. So here we go guys, this is dinner time. I'm preparing one of my favorite dishes. It's shrimp sauce, stir fried Chinese celery. So I'm gonna use some uh, nice oil. Got some olive oil. Typically it's not used for stir fry, but you know, um, we don't want to over burn it. So that's fine using olive oil. Just a little bit, not too much, you know. And then I'm gonna put some garlic for that flavoring. Here you go guys. Look at how beautiful that looks. Nothing beats homegrown, organic, no pesticide, no insecticide, no E. coli, no salmonella, nothing. All heart right here, baby. If you don't want to use shrimp sauce, you could substitute it with fermented bean curd. And it's a little bit cheaper. Nothing to see here. Just some thinly sliced New York strip steak with um, Chinese celery that I grew and cooked myself. That's right. And to go with some steamed rice. 
So what am I stir frying for dinner today? Snow peas. I believe these are green giant snow peas I got from grocery outlet for like $2.99. It's not exactly a plant-based diet dinner, but this is a, what, what is this, New York strip thin cut beef. Gotta eat it before it goes bad. Let's carefully transfer this over here. And the speed up the cooking process, cut it into three pieces, which are almost slices and thin slices. See how nice this skinny slice. Okay, we're gonna plate my dinner and see what the presentation is about. Dinner's all plated. Doesn't this look beautiful and delicious, guys? Added some basil leaf. Signature select hot rum barbecue sauce. You gotta try it. A little bit of tabatillo. And to go with that stir fried snow peas and steamed rice for a healthy, well balanced dinner.